snack stick a question? Because you type your question here, and when you hit ask, the answer comes up. It's really funny. Has anyone tried that? No. Oh, you guys really shot me. We don't have time, and I don't do it when you shot at me. I just don't. But what I love is, anybody ever heard the term FAQ? It means frequently asked questions. And you see FAQ on a lot of sites. Well, he wrote <laughs> FAT FAQ or FAT FAQ. <laughs> Favorite answers to frequently asked questions. Notice it's F A T F A Q. But the funny thing is, he never wrote the question. He only wrote the answer. So he wrote, yes, that is my real name. So what do you think the question was? Is John Cheshko your real name? Here he wrote, um, Jim, Tom, Greg, Brian, Jeff. Does anybody know what that question was? Do you remember? Um, my five brothers. His brothers. Good, Megan. About 75 cents for each hardcover book and 15 cents for each paperback book. Then half of that goes to the government for taxes. <laughs> so don't forget to ask for hardcover. What do you think his question was there that someone asked him? Want money? How much money does a hardcover book cost? How much money does yeah. a paperback? How much money do you make? whenever you sell a book. No, I'm not kidding. It's a real name. It's a Polish word that means path. You could look it up. My dad's parents came to America from Poland. So he's being asked again, is that your real name? My favorite one is this one. Probably because I'm a teacher. But this one right here. And I kind of also put it on my smartboard. I never know exactly how long it takes me to write a book. I'm always writing down ideas. Then I write a first draft, then I rewrite and rewrite and rewrite until I get the story just the way I like it. So what do you think the question was there? How long does it take you to make a book? And then I kind of like he wrote, and so yes, anywhere from three months to a whole year. Though it took me five years to figure out how to make math first work as a story. So I just think that's pretty amazing. Like we are all like, oh, we've written for 40 minutes, Mrs. Smith. We need to be done. But real writers can write a book from months to years, which is really cool. If you think about that. Or days. Or to days. Maybe or I can write it. Maybe centuries. Or I don't know if we're alive for centuries. Or seconds. Or um minutes. Or minutes. Yeah. Hours. Well, or milliseconds. Do you guys kind of understand though? It's yeah. definitely yeah. I love that we've got some notebooks down, so I know you're focused. Thank you. Thank you, Gannon. I don't know if this time of the day is kind of tricky. And Dan, if you would come over, that'd be awesome. So your writer's secret today is also your mini lesson, your learning target. Actually, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna say it first, because you probably already kind of guessed it based on that where he rewrites and rewrites and rewrites. But authors change words by adding or taking them out to make their writing better. This is the rewrite or revise part of writing. All authors, all people, even myself, whenever I write a newsletter to send home to your parents, Preston, I reread it and rewrite it and rewrite it. It takes me like an hour just to make the newsletter. And it's the biggest pain in the whole wide world, but I know all parents want to know what you're doing at school, so I do it. But I have to revise and rewrite. So here is John Sheshka's writing. It's hard for you to see this because I copied it. Remember how I showed you his drafts? And the one was blank. The second one had a scribble. And then he had a first draft and a second draft and a third draft. Remember that? So in this, you can't really see from where you're sitting probably. But this word used to say horrible. And he crossed it out with his hands and wrote the word disgusting. Why might he do something like that? Tell someone next to you. Why would he change a word? Okay. Freeze and look at me. Kaden, why did your partner say to you? Or were you guys a little stumped? You weren't sure? Taylor, what did you and your partner say? Why would he change a word? To make it better. Maggie, what did you say? I heard some good stuff. Um, to make it more interesting and so, like, um, because they kind of make mean the same thing, but horrible can mean many different things. So, disgusting is like one, because horrible is kind of like an opinion. 
opinion word and disgusting means, means like what kind of horrible and so it made it more specific. Yeah. Okay. Why else? Like to make it more interesting and pop it out. Pop out. Pop it out more. Man, you guys are from papers. Look how many times I'm just gonna put a dot where you change stuff. Here, here, here. Don't forget that. Yeah, there's like this other thing he did. He did two things there. Some he did like a whole phrase right here. <coughs> here, here, here. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. It looks like he actually changed a whole entire sentence. So does that mean he's a big failure and like the first time he wrote it, it's over and he should just throw it out. No. Yeah, he should throw it out. Wyatt, do you think he should just throw out his first draft? No, no. He my heart for us. Sometimes you say things that I feel like you just pulled it right out of my brain. He changed his first draft because he made it better. So I bet you're guessing what you're going to do today. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. No. I know you already have been thinking about this, but oh. all of you have between three to five, maybe even more of your green papers, so I should have really had to bring the writing projects folder back here. I kind of forgot we were already working in that, that nice green one, except if you're Grace and you have an orange one. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about, and I'm going to do it for you right now, so Ethan, just set it down. Thank you. I'm going to do mine, and then I want you to think about yours. So we're going to just take on our drafts, we're going to think about what we can add or take away, what will make our phrases more interesting. And maybe you have to go back to your notebook for more ideas. Because lots of you have lots of ideas. So I have, the bee was bitten by a beetle. And I know you're working on alliteration. I'm going to get out a red pen because that will make it pop out. I have bees sounds already. Adam, we'll catch you up, so don't worry. So now in my head, all of a sudden, I saw that this is black. And so I'm going to write the word black right here. But then I'm also thinking it'd be really cool if I made my picture, my final picture, a big black beetle. So I can make it a big black beetle. Was bitten bee was bitten badly by a, by a big black, black beetle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to become a tongue twister, and I don't know if I want it to be a tongue twister, so maybe I'll take out big. The bee was bitten badly by a black beetle. I'm still not sure I'm happy with it. The bee was bitten. Let me do mine. Hold on. The bee was bitten by, badly by a big black beetle. See, that's too many bees for me. I might want to even, even though I'm, my goal is alliteration. It's too much, and the person who reads it is going to be kind of confused. Right, Bryce? So maybe I want to take out some of the bee sounds. I might do the bee was bitten. I do like badly, though. Horribly. Notice how I'm not really concerned if I have a lot of crossed out marks on my paper. Bees bitten badly by a black beetle. I definitely don't want big anymore. By a black beetle. A giant black beetle? Ooh, I do like a giant black beetle. Or a giant beetle. He was bitten badly by a gigantic. I was going to say that. Gigantic. What do you notice I'm re- What am I doing every single time I've changed something? Kayla, what have I done every time? Um, read. You read it and you're like, oh, maybe I don't want that. You I keep rereading it out loud to hear it. Horribly. It's one thing, Ty, if you read yours mm -hmm. in your head, but when you say it out loud, it's very different. So actually, when you get back to your green paper, you're probably going to be saying yours over and over. We're going to work for the first ten minutes on your own. Okay, completely on your own. That means don't ask Presley, even though Presley has amazing ideas. You don't ask Presley for help yet, because we will then have 10 minutes of time with each other, where you'll work in a small group and try to work on getting yours just right. Now, you have more than one. I just have one example. So this should be something you can fill 10 minutes with. Kayla. What if you don't know how to draw me? Can you say that one more time? What if you don't know how to draw me? Oh, then. Oh, okay. Don't worry about that. We can worry about that later. But if it's like the words, you love the words, but you don't know if you could draw it, yeah. we'll worry about I can, the I can sketch it like for you. <coughs> other other questions? That's very hard to draw. I can help you. Maybe. So we're doing on the green paper and the green folder. Green paper and the green folder. 
I love when people restate what I just said so that way everyone's for sure got it. Taylor. Are you doing great in this? Of course. Everything you do matters in here. I don't ever make you do anything. Except. I don't make you do anything unless it matters. If you're ready, you should go. You can go anywhere in the room. 